Hi, welcome back to It's Only Paper. I'm Lisa and I could not be more excited. I've been wanting to make this journal since the start of the year. I bought this book. You may have seen um, where I featured it in videos when it arrived. And then I bought two because I loved it so much I couldn't cut one up. Look at the artwork when you open it. Isn't that amazing? Surely, even if you don't like Disney, you have to appreciate this artwork. It is so beautiful. Some pages are a little bit on the scary side. Um, I love the fact that it's a little bit coloured in. It's had some pre-loving. Um, I just love it. I absolutely love this. Um, it's so cute. I love that old book smell as well. So I gathered up my things um, and I kind of know what I want to put in it. I love the fact that it's huge. It is 30 centimetres practically. That's huge, isn't it? Um, by 22 and a bit. It's going to be one huge, gigantic journal, and I can't wait. So I'm going to show you all the bits that I've been collecting. We have got park maps. I think the thing that's excited me about this journal, let's compare it to a little golden book. So this one, oh, I've got a tag that's fallen out. This is a little golden book, so you can see the size difference. It's quite a bit. And it's great. Um, I've got park maps and things in, but they've all been cut down slightly. So you've got a park map here. Um, um, so I'm actually looking forward to not having... Look at that chunky monkey. Um, to cut anything down. I've got resort maps. I've got free maps that I've picked up in um, St. Augustine. Um, I've got all sorts and that some of them are huge as you can see um, I've even got like car hire I'm gonna just put everything in here oh it's giving me goosebumps that's how excited I am um, I have this I think this was from um, Romy and I don't I know I don't actually need it because I've got my own in here but I'm, it's there just in case I do want it We've just got a little bit of everything and I am so, so excited about this. I've got some sassafras bits and pieces. I found this that I'd kept that was from um, an old journal. It was like an old planner. No, it was a notebook I've cut out. I think that will go perfect. Look at this. That is so cute. I'm just going to have so much fun with this. Um, lace. I just want it to be a proper touchy-feely journal, loads of space, appreciating the artwork, um, I'm excited. And then I started looking at fabrics last night, of, like for the spine, I set on the green, I think the green just goes really, really well, so we're going with the green. And then I was thinking, because I want like a layer of something over the side so let's lay this out but I don't want to be covering up too much of the artwork I loved this for the colors isn't that cool but I think I would end up covering up some of the three little pigs I don't know it could work then I really loved this one but I've only got enough for one I do quite like that it looks quite clean got a bit of nickel elastic it isn't nickel elastic but it kind of looks like it um Got some pom-pom, that goes really well. Might do that on the outside actually. But then I've also got, I found this in my pink jar. I think this might be the winner. It's quite clean and tidy. I do like this though. Hmm, what do you think? Scream at me through <laughs> my camera. I wish you could, I wish you could tell me what you think. Um, I'm wondering if I could Oh, I haven't done that very well. Use both. That to me looks quite clean and it's not going to impose too much on the rest of the artwork. Colourings, however, I mean, that is gorgeous, isn't it? That is so nice. I'm wondering if it could go partially on and partially on the spine. And then even add that. Oh, I don't know, actually. Is that too busy? Or... That does look nice, I like that. Oh, I don't know, decisions, decisions. I have also got the pink lace, which is really, really cute. I really do like that as well. Hmm. Oh, I, I don't know, actually, now I'm thinking. Actually, yeah, I think it might have to be that one. Do you agree? Yeah, 
let's make that decision. I'll use that on another one. I really do love that. But I think it needs to be that with the pom-pom. Right, we've decided. Let's move that to one side. I've put everything away so I can't be tempted. No knicker elastic is going to be tempting me this afternoon. If you hear any noise, by the way, Aid's come home and he's mowing the lawn. I just didn't want to hold off anymore because I'm so excited about this. Right, let's start the journal destruction. Let's get my um, craft knives out. By the way, by the way, Lee, if you ever watch this, that was such a perfect gift for me. Thank you. All right, let's cut this down here like that. Oh, it's always a bit nerve wracking, isn't it? When you do this, I'm not going to include all the pages. I don't know how many signatures I'm making either. Um, it's for my trip this year. Oh, that came out easily. Um, it's not like a multi trip because we're doing a road trip at the end of the year. I would like to do that in a separate journal. So it's for one trip. I might do two signatures. How about that? I want it to bulk out, but not too much. I just really want to have fun with this one. That's how I feel about this. Let's tidy this up a little bit. When did you last make a journal? A DIY journal I would love to know and um, what did you go with did you see the last one that I created the no sew journal I am so in love with that one and I've been having so much fun with it I'm so happy I think so far that might be the favorite one I've created to date oh, we've got a little badge on there I might put a sticker over that um, so I'm just gonna finish tidying this up it's to try and find a piece of card large enough the first one I pulled out was this one and then this one and they're not quite large enough so I have got this that I've painted on before that I've used for like misting and that so I'm gonna end up using this one it's going to have obviously stuff over it anyway so that is going to be actually if I use this one it's not actually too bad let's mark it off and we've also got to decide how wide we want it to be um, I feel that I never go quite large enough. I'm going to overdo it, I think. I always get excited. And then I always wish I'd done it a little bit larger. So let's go to that size. And hopefully that will be good. There we go. And I'm just cutting that onto a craft mat. So that's my book. Making sure it's the correct way because obviously I don't want them back to front. I'm happy with that. So just make sure that you've got them in the correct order. And that you've got a little gap between each one. Just so that you can then bend the book. And I know some people use like special tapes. Um, I'm just using normal clear tape because we're not going to see any of this anyway. I'm just going to pop that over. here we have it the carcass of the book it's like the skeleton isn't it I'm really pleased with that and you can see why you need a little bit of space there just to move it around so let's now decorate the spine let's grab the fabric that I picked and place this I use this to make Disney ears which is why there's a great big chunk missing out of it so we are going to, I'm quite okay with covering a little bit of it. And then I'm going to use this on the outside, just overlapping slightly. This is going to look so, so pretty. I do want to make sure that the um, vellum, that, not the vellum, the vel velour that I'm using, the velvet, doesn't sit on the crease as well 
So actually, I think if this goes over slightly, I think that will work out absolutely fine. Let's just mark off where, and actually the tape is a good thickness to where I need to go. We do want to pop it over slightly. So let's cut this down here. There, the colours just go so perfectly. I love this so much. I'm going to pop some good thick tape on this now to hold the fabric in place. I'm going to do a few layers of this. I'm so, I don't think I've ever been so excited about a journal before. I think it's because I've been planning this one for so long. And it's different to all the others I've been doing as well. I think just the size itself excites me. It feels like there's no limits on this one. I always talk about like freedom journaling and having the freedom to do whatever you want. And this one, because of the size, it, it really is limitless as to what I can do. And it does feel very, very exciting. Now with my other ones, I've actually used PVA glue as well. I'm gonna see if I can get away without using that on this one. There we go. So it is, it feels really solid. I don't think I need the PVA as well. That looks perfect. That looks perfect. Excellent. I like that. And then we'll pop some more tape on the inside. Then we will fold that up. We are going to be putting something over the top, so I'm not worried too much. Just want to make sure. Oh, I love that. That is so, so cute. Now we're going to add the lace. I bought all this actually, the fabric and the lace from the craft show at the Birmingham NEC. You can pick up the bundles really cheap. The big fat quarters, I've got a few of those now, were £1.80. So I want that on the outside. Let's run this. I've got a little bit of tape on the outside. So I'm also going to run some on the inside like that. This is my last roll of red tape. I also bought this from the Birmingham NEC. Um, I need to get some more of this because this stuff is so, so good. I've been so impressed. I will definitely be buying more of this. I need that to go slightly over the top like that. How does that look? Actually, that is really good because you can actually then see how straight that is. Perfect. And then the idea was I was going to pop that on there. And I'm also just securing it inside just to keep on top of the tidiness inside. Um, I am just popping the ends down as well. It's looking so cute. Right, let's add the, uh, I can't want to call it vellum, the um, velvet. I don't know where this came from. This was just in my pot that I've had for ages and ages. It might even be, I've been on some packaging or something. I don't know. I have no idea, but I like it. I like the different textures on this as well, having the book, the fabric, the lace, and now the velvet as well. And then we'll pop some pom-poms somewhere as well. I liked actually closing it up. I found this was a better way of putting it on because you can really see where it is. That is cute, do you agree? I That was definitely, as much as I love the other lace, this is definitely the right decision. I'm so happy with this. Keep any little loose bits, any cut, um, cut offs. You can use that as a tab on one of the pages. We'll be doing that. Look, this was such the right decision, wasn't it? It was really, really perfect. So I am going to do exactly the same and just tidy up these. I'm going to want to cover this up. I'm going to take this piece of scrapbook paper the 12 by 12 works out really, really well. 
and I am going to mark this off. Um, I don't want to cover all of it up. I don't know though, or should I? It would look neater, wouldn't it? Mm, sorry, Mickey Mouse, I think we might have to cover you up slightly. I've decided to distress the edges a little bit. Always scrape away from your body and watch your scissors, the amount of times I've cut my hands from holding my scissors in that way. I just thought the book's distressed. Um, it just doesn't look quite right seeing something completely perfect. So let's do the edges as well, just adds to it. And I am going to stick that on there. And remember the little pom-pom. We are also going to attach this inside as well. So if you want to attach anything inside like that, now is your time to do that, to secure that in place. So I've just folded it up. I'm just gonna pop the creasing tool down the creases there keep it nice and tidy look at that that's so cute oh I'm not even showing you on the camera sorry <laughs> I like that I think maybe that should have been a little bit higher but never mind that's absolutely fine oh this is so cute I can see in a couple of areas where I need to add a little bit more tape so I'm going to do that to keep it tidy as well just to make sure everything stays in place let me know if you are feeling inspired to go away and make your own mega journal that's what we're going to call this a mega journal it's mega huge just think of all the stories i am going to be able to document in here i can have larger photos i can have whole maps i can just put in huge great big pockets i'm just gonna have so much fun with this nothing's gonna stop me with this journal i'm gonna be like superwoman this is like a journal for superwoman i love it yeah i'm really happy with this now i've got my skeleton i now need to create my signatures and i think like i said i'm gonna go with two so um a question that danielle asked me a while ago was about keeping things in order now with the um i'll give you an example here actually with the little golden books you've got one signature inside and it's all completely in order so you take it and it is just page after page it's so easy um, with these ones however it isn't you've got like you can see then there's lots and lots of like little bits I'm not going to even attempt to keep this in order um, I'm not going to use all the pages either that comes apart quite nicely this is I've kept the book anyway so I don't need it for that this is going to be I do actually really like this um, for my enjoyment only this one um, I don't particularly like that one or that one or that one but then they would be quite good then to put other things over but I do love that one I really wanted this one to, to be the start because that goes with that okay so you can see then we're going to build up on here let's have a look I could then I'm going to show you something this is next to me on my desk I've got two rolls of tape and I've been using five different pairs of scissors. I don't know why. Um, I'm just going to have a quick tidy up. I'm kind of like thinking in order. So the first park that we went to was Epcot. We had the most amazing day. So I think I might even do, do you know you could even do your park map like that and actually almost have it the other way around couldn't you like that 
and actually stick it in the side. That would be quite cool, um, but we're not. Um, I like the idea, I think, of having it like that and folding it out, or do we do it in the center? Like that with the Epcot, I think. So we're going to pop that in there. So this is how we're working out our, si our signatures and what's going where. The next thing we've then got are St. Augustine in the trip. So I'm thinking like, or oh, actually saying that we're going to want a few pages then. That is so cute. So let's test the first signature. Just going to have a quick look and see how everything is. Got a park map there that pulls right out. Whoops. Like that. Also got a St. Augustine map that pulls out. And then things like this I'll probably end up just covering up. And then we've got papers. Still got the sewing inside there. A couple of smaller pages. The car hire map. And then the pages there as well. So I think that's going to be my first signature. I took out the map in the end, the vintage map. And I think I might include that on the other one. So I think we are good to go with that one. Now we'll work on the next one. Have a quick flip through. I am so happy we've got the love bug because that is the area that we stayed in, in Disney's All Stars. Um, I will pretty up the pages and we'll add pockets and things like this, but that is just very basic how we are going at the moment there. And now we need to sew all the pages together which I am very excited about. I'm actually wondering whether to make up a couple of these to sell. Um, it's like I made one for my sister. My sister's the type of person that totally gets this but um, loves it, but she's not somebody that would make them herself. So um, let me know what you think, if you think that's a nice idea. This one's a bit chunkier, but this one is for the Disney part of the trip and the other's more for like the road trippy stuff. And now we are going to start the sewing. So I want a template that matches the size. I think that should be correct. I still haven't completely mastered this. Every time I have to sort of like redo it again. Oh. Um, I think sometimes as well when you film you don't maybe concentrate as much as if you were just doing it so we fold it in half we want to find the places where we are going to make our holes and then fold it into the center crease and then again and that gives us our template and there. I nearly forgot to do that. Right now let's pop this in place and obviously we're just having the two signatures so I am going to mark this off. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now I've got my little book binding kit um, I'll leave a link to it below it was super super reasonably priced on Amazon for the whole kit it's got everything that I need in there just go careful because you are using a very sharp tool so we are going to do the same with this I always, always struggle with this to keep the holes, um, to keep the creases together. Always struggle. I'm now going to lay the template. I've like pinned everything together. 
let's see how this works because last time I really struggled with it let's see if this works better I've got some cute beads to use as well um I am after some really nice colored one two three um, wax thread I went to a huge arts and crafts store in um, Manchester thinking if anyone had it they would and they haven't they didn't they just had the regular colors I'd like some really pretty ones I've used other threads but they've ended up snapping so if you've seen any pretty colored ones let me know please now going to attach my beads um I did need to trim the bottom bits these I thought we would get away with but the paper was just too large so I had to trim it off unfortunately so but I will be adding those so not all is lost um I want to add some beads I ordered these Mickey Mouse beads from eBay they are so cute so let's add a few of these because I think they will look so nice on here. Look, I love these. The only thing you have to think about is, whoops, um, you can't have anything too bumpy because, I'm gonna test this out, when you are journaling, it doesn't lean flat on your desk. Actually, this might be okay because I know my other one it hasn't but when I have had things before it's best to have something that you can unclip but I think this will be fine they look so much fun it's just nice to add something on here I like I might do three and three that would be really fun let's tie these up like that Right, part two of this video. I'm excited about this. So we've got the, the actual journal itself. Today I want to add a whole load of fun bits and pieces. So the first thing I want to do is get some of this blue trim on here. Or oh, actually, how about, you know that lace I loved? I loved this so much. This would actually be really, really nice on here. That really does stand out nicely let's grab some staples um, I just want to add color and texture and layers um, usually when I make a journal for myself I don't add this kind of thing on immediately I did with my sisters I made her um, a little golden book and I did add all the trims, but that was because obviously she doesn't journal. Um, and part of the thing for me when I'm making a journal, I like deciding on the day what I want to include. However, this one, um, I do want to add all the bits and pieces. I want to make it slightly different to how I have done with my others. And the idea is, look, it hangs over. I just want one of those journals with loads and loads of bits and pieces. I might actually pop this on here I think that might look a little bit neater I know I wanted the rough edge I'm now changing my mind <laughs> I do that a lot when I make things I change my mind part way through I've been so excited about this I kept coming into my studio last night and looking at it I'm so happy and I was so excited to share photos this morning in my patreon community um, I've been talking about this journal for a very long time. Let's pop this on here. This came in a swap from Ali Warren um, during our Christmas swap in our group. If you love swaps, by the way, come and join my chat group because we have lots of them. So that's the, have I stapled two pages together? I have as well, that's a great start. What am I like? 
Oh, I wonder about myself sometimes. I get so carried away by things. No, I actually stapled three together. I'm so heavy handed. I say that all the time. Ugh. All right, let's try that again. Thing which I do really want to do because I've got the staples along the edge there. I am going to run. I had to trim off the really cute bits when I was making the journal yesterday. And I'm actually going to trim these, um, pop some double-sided tape along the staple edge so that we've got a really pretty edge on the paper here. Just adds a bit more interest. And I know that will be the perfect size. Excellent. That's a good start. I like that. Let's try not to staple any more pages <laughs> together with the pom-pom trim I think that will be really fun I am going to add um, a piece of card along there as well this sassafras paper I've been holding on to all these sassafras papers waiting for the perfect project for all these years I think this is it don't you agree? Look at that. We're going to pop that on the edge. I'm going to do this one slightly different and I'm actually going to staple the pom-pom trim. Let's do it around this way. That makes more sense. To the edge of the paper here and then we'll stick the paper in. I did this before as well and that works really well and I love the green staples there on the turquoise pom-pom trim. I'm starting to get such a lovely collection of journals in my studio now. They just look so nice on display. And I am going to add the tape to the back and we are going to stick this on the edge. It will also cover up the staples that I stapled in by mistake. Isn't that cute? I love that. And I've just added some washi tape along that trim as well. So we've got pom-pom trim one side and washi the other with the pom-pom. I'm also going to add another one of the trims here. This was from, again, one of the papers that I took out yesterday. Uh, doesn't that make a difference and it's just white on the back which is absolutely fine I think that looks really pretty still and I have found some more I've cut off with a wider strip just because the papers are so cute that I really wanted to add them I've got the situation where I don't actually like some of the images um, I find them a little bit on the dark side. So I love all the font, the um, the writing that I've used this one here. I'm going through some other one, other bits and pieces. This is American Crafts, Amy Tangerine, Finders Keepers. I'm going to take off, I've used this to punch a couple of things out here. Um, let's remove this. And I'm thinking, let's make a pocket. I like that idea. Let's trim it from here. I trim a decent amount off because I can use that another time. I really love that. So let's take that off as well. I love both sides. So what I'm going to do is fold this down so that we can see both sides because I think that's really cute like that. I love the um, the reverse of that. That looks so nice. Now I know that now I've got that little bit showing, but that's when we can add something else above it to tidy that up, to cover that bit up. And this is going to be a really cute pocket. Found this, and I am going to include this instead. This is one of the pages that came out. I didn't use all the pages. Look how cool this will be. Let's, because we actually had a dinner where we met um, Snow White. 
and the Eagle Queen. So this would work out really, really well. And I've decided with this journal that I'm not doing everything in order. I'm just doing it as and when I fancy. And that way you just have the freedom just to create exactly what you want. And then we are going to make a pocket for here. This is going to be so cute. And I love the idea of having Snow White poking over the top there. Cutting the paper at angles there just so it sits in a bit neater. There, and that can always flip up if I want it to. And then I've also got another pocket there as well. I'm just going to secure the sides. But I do have then two pockets if I want them. There we go. We've got a pocket there and a pocket there. And then this also flips as well. So I'm actually going to stick a map of Wilderness Lodge down. Um, I'm not fussed about this dark bit here. I will keep, might keep in, what do you think? Old Minnie and Mickey, because they are scary, but it is part of the history, isn't it? What's your thoughts? Um, this isn't very pretty, that side, so I'm going to add some paper along there. I'm going to go with this trim here. How cute that looks. You've got the little trim on the back. Love that. I am going to use this little leftover as a trim on the top here, I think. We need to start adding some little tabs. We haven't got many of these yet. There. I love that. So I cut this out years ago from a paper. I was thinking about sticking it down as a pocket, but actually the back would be really good for journaling. So instead, I am going to fold this little bit here and just stick this down. I've just put some tape on the back. We've got this lovely big page here and I'm just gonna stick this to the end of the page and that now flicks. It's the only problem with a large journal, it's really hard to fit on. There, I love that. Really cute paper bag that was sent to me that I'd like to use. I've got, um, I haven't included a Hollywood Studios map here, just purely because we only spent a few hours there this trip. Um, but I still like to include it, so I am going to add this as a pocket and then it could be that I've got some other leaflets as well from the trip. We're going to add those on the very back page there. I've also got a few of these types of things as well that we picked up in the resorts. I might actually pop that on there. I'm going to use a clear tape for that one. Just memorabilia. And I've also got the little key card from our hotel as well. We went ghost hunting and I picked up this. I would quite like to see both sides. I'm not fussed about that side. So actually I could cover up that up with photos. So I'm going to pop this on here. And then deal with that nearer the time. It could be that I secure it in with like washi tape and things like that as well. Got some donuts. Let's pop that on there. Just adding a little piece here, which I really like. October afternoon, and I'm going to trim the edge just to make the edging look really cute like that and i'm going to do that in a few other places as well i did this on a previous journal as well just adds a little bit of interest to the pages I do really like this as a pocket i don't like the canon um, but i do like this so i think i'm going to pop this in to make a pocket so I've got a leaflet already in mind to go in this one. Got a cute little pocket on that side. This flips over the top. I'm going to find a sticker to put over that. I've just found so many stickers and chipboard pieces. 
These are so cute. Oh, I like that one. Perfect. Got the leaflet from Blue State Park, which can go in there as well. I have added so many bits and pieces. I'm cutting out this sassafras paper now. It's ended up turning out to be a bit of a sassafras um, journal. I really like this. That is so cool. And I thought I would stick this here. Let's just add a little bit there. And we're going to turn this into a pocket. I've now started... Um, I'm not just going through my papers here on my desk. I'm actually going to start going through the drawers now and just seeing what other bits and pieces I can find. I want this to be a really, really interactive journal. Um, I haven't recorded all of it because a lot of it is very samey. Just keep adding tops, um, tabs. I've added loads of pom-pom trims, but I will give you a big flip through in a moment. Let's pop that there. And then the idea being that card can just pop in there. No idea what I'm going to do with it. It's a vintage card, but I love it. Ready for a flip through. I am pretty much done with this now. Obviously, I'm going to be adding to it when I start creating. I love the little pom-pom. Um, so we've got the beads. I've got the actual journal. And I've added a decent amount of pom-pom trims, which I really love and various bits and pieces there as well on the top. So let's open this out. And this is my first page, as you can see. So I'm gonna open it out and I've got um, some tab tops in various places as well. Lots and lots of pom-pom trims, which I love. I've got an Epcot map here. And like I said, I don't think I'm necessarily going to journal too much in order. It's going to be about the stories and I'm just going to fit them in as and when I want them. This is the map that was in the car for the car hire. This is that little pocket that I created. No doubt I'll be creating loads more pockets and flips. We've got the St. Augustine map there. And we've got the parking pass from the hotel and the little pocket there from the... Um, hotel key that would be ideal to add something to no doubt as well I'll probably pretty it up a little bit when I come to creating the pages um, we've got pom-poms um, I like this page here this double page and I've added a little ziplock bag there as well a little mickey one that was sent to me on this side we've got um, a little doggy card I thought that was so cute because we met up with my dad who had his dog with him there's Island Donuts, which we loved. So I've done that as a flip. We've got some more bits and pieces that I've collected. And the rest of the car hire map. I love having so much space to play with in here. This is that extra comic book page or book page that I added. And I've added, because this is the Snow White page, I found a little piece of card with apples on. So I thought that would be really cute. Then we've got the Snow White pockets here. I did add the postcard here with the autographs on that we were given. And we've got the two postcards and I've got some little tabs and bits at the top. And then on this page, I added the map here and a little flip few bits and pieces at the top I could well move those around when it comes to making the journal and then on the second signature we start with a very pretty lace trim oh I've just realized I haven't done anything on the reverse I'm going to do that now the hearts seeing as it's my love bug page I'm so happy with that and we've got this little pocket here I've got a little Dalmatians card which is really cute because there's a Dalmatian area and I've got a little what a Disney gift card was in as well that was gifted to us once so that can be used. Again, got more of the trimmings on the edge and some washi. We have got a Magic Kingdom map here. I love that it's not in totally straight. I love that, the way it sits at an angle. Might add something on the top there. And I've added this paper here with a couple of the Sassafras stickers. More bits and pieces added to pages. 
and more sassafras stickers i love as well as you turn over the pages you get to see all those trimmings it just makes me so happy i created a little pocket here the blue springs and we've got another little bit here that sits open like that and it's actually got a little pocket as well there we've got our animal kingdom look how easily that opens out because it's a nice big journal donald duck page with a cute trimming and then this was the one where we created a flip disney springs this time and then on this side i've got a sticker at the bottom and a little fabric tab at the top another sticker and this is a i was going through all my stash this is actually an envelope that i made previously and it's a wage slip envelope so i'll cover that up when i decide to end up making the page and i've made a little tuck there for a tag as well which again i'll decorate when it comes to doing the page big sticker we've got the back of a map i'll probably end up covering that up to be honest this is for disney springs cute 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 lace trimming it's trying to do some tiling i think he's trying to make some small bits a little tuck there a little scrap piece which i thought was quite sweet uh this rainbow bit i only had that left and it actually fit in perfectly there so i popped that on there this one i have added that trim to the base with some ribbon which loops at the top and then i added that on the back more of a map more lace trimmings oh that's another one i haven't done go i've just added some washi tape there that looks so much better and this side i've created a little pocket there i don't know what i'll end up putting in there I'll put something oh i'm gonna add some washi tape to this one as well look how cute that looks love that and then i've added the little bag here i've already got a map in there and along here i've added some washi tape and we've got another trim i am so happy with this i can't wait to create in it i am so so excited i hope you've enjoyed this i hope it's inspired you to go and make a mega journal uh, all the years i've been making mini books and my my journals have been getting smaller and smaller and suddenly i'm making a huge great big gigantic one and i am totally in love with it and i cannot wait to start journaling but thank you very much i hope you've bed with bear with me till the end and i hope you love my new journal too and i will see you in the next video maybe creating in this little one i'll see you soon take care bye